kids, but little kids are like this. They don't know what they don't know. Um, but they think they know everything because they don't have the ability to conceptualize outside of themselves. So a little kid will think that they know everything, which means that, you know, are you, are you about to be kidnapped? No, I can take care of myself. I don't know, man. You know, I imagine that very few children who get kidnapped probably saw it coming. They probably never saw it coming. Even, and, and, and by the way, overwhelmingly, overwhelmingly, uh, kids get kidnapped by people they know, not by strangers. The whole thing about a stranger kidnapping a kid, that's incredibly rare. There's only a couple dozen examples of that every year in the whole country, at three, out of almost 400 million people. There's only about a dozen or so, a dozen and a half kids who get kidnapped by strangers every year. For the most part, we're kidnapped by people we know. So now, why did that person kidnap you? You know, you probably a legal, uh, maybe like a, a, uh, a custodial fight that you didn't know was happening. Your aunt and uncle were going through something that you didn't know what was going on, whatever it is. The point is just that you didn't know what you didn't know. And so little kids, this is why it's so easy to trick them. It's not just because they're naive, but it's also because they think they know everything. You know? I was remembering a few years ago, almost a while ago, and that's a very long time ago. Now, I had a student who was, we were talking about stuff that we post on social media and how it makes it possible for people to find you. And one person was saying, I don't post anything on social media that people can find me. And I was like, oh, really? And that was like five years ago now, I guess. And I had a student who, who did like the hacking and stuff like that. And so he just asked if he could do an experiment. I said, sure. So he went onto her social media account using, and he was able to, to geolocate everything, where she, where, her picture, you know, where, where she took her pictures, where she was. And you know, he, like, he's like looking at me and said, I bet you live somewhere like over here. And he points on this little map of where he thinks that she lives. Yeah, she lives like within a block of where, of, of where he thought she lived. So he, so he was like, yes, yeah, so I guess I want a kidnap you. I just have to hang out over there and wait until I see you walk by. <laughs> and she's like, oh my god, who, who would put in that kind of time? And he said, human traffickers. Just like that, immediately, human traffickers. And I remember looking at this kid, his name was Chris, I go, I hope you're on our side, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not on the bad guy's side. And of course, she was shocked by this, but I think a lot of us would be. Wouldn't it be interesting if we could like go into some alternate universe or something in which we had never been born and then just like see if our parents would have been those things that they dreamed about? Damn, bro. Mm -hmm. you know? In other words, cool. if I hadn't been born, <laughs> terrible. Like, you sit there and you're like, I'm so tired of my dad talking crap about if I wasn't born. So you can like do this experiment and you step out of reality and then you see like he becomes like the richest man in the world who cures cancer. <laughs> And then, you know, it takes humanity to, a, to, a, to different planets, and we thrive, and we flourish, and we conquer the galaxy. But because of you. <laughs> but of course, it isn't because of you. It's because of... Life. Life? life. Just life. All of a sudden, he's just... Ah, boom, kid. What? <laughs> it's decisions that they made, yes. And, you know, and, and by the way, we shouldn't get too caught up on that because many people will make that decision. I wonder, going taking this to what you're saying, <laughs> I wonder how many of us in this room are accidents. Happy little accidents. <laughs> exactly. Almost all the hands go up. How, I wonder how many of us were planning, like, you know, they, they built a little nursery beforehand and they were, you know, planning out how they were going to, you know, to, to shower us with love and affection. They are putting all this stuff aside. I wonder how many of us were just, like, in the bathroom <laughs> staring at a stick. Uh-oh. <laughs> but it's interesting, isn't it? My because we still... Was what's that? My sister was planned, and I'm jealous. <laughs> Your sister was planned? Did they, did, they, did they give you a name at least, though? Yeah. <laughs> did they just call you you? <laughs> oh, yeah. You. You. What's your sister's name? She's, her name's Jaden. Oh, Princess Jaden. No, no, no. You. Go get it. <laughs> 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 but yeah. And, and, and I wonder how many times, like, your parents, you know, when we're growing up and we're doing that thing as a little kid, like, why, why, why? And they're just looking at you going, oh, man, you are not Jaden. <laughs> but things work out anyway. In other words, we adapt to it. And, and you, you can't live the life that, that you wanted. So you can't live the life that you envisioned. And by the way, um, what would your parents have been had you not been born? So we have one example. That we have a dad who would have cured cancer and become the richest person in the world. What else would your parents have done? Yeah. Um, there could also be a possibility where they just like deep spiral into like 
some really sad abyss, get into drugs, get into alcohol, just like ruin their life. Yeah. No, they would have cured cancer. <laughs> <laughs> and what else would they have done? Come on, what's the experience of time? Oh, traveled, um, you know? traveled, traveled the world, they'd have seen the world and become far, yeah? Well, um, making, like, y you know the, the Elon Musk rocket? The one that's like shaped like a penis? Yeah, make that. That's Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos? <laughs> Jeff Bezos? Yeah, that's that, yeah, that's Sky Blue. Elon Musk. Oh, no, that's Sky Blue. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So they, what would they have done with the penis rocket? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, so up in the space. <laughs> they would have been sending penis rockets into space. First contact with the penis rocket. <laughs> aliens come by. <laughs> and they just keep going. They don't even stop. <laughs> What's wrong with these people? <laughs> What's wrong with these aliens? Yeah, so you can think about all the magical things that would have happened had this one thing not happened. Had we not been born. Um, is that true, though? No. Who knows? Who knows? Um, and you were ahead of me when I said that, because maybe they would have spiraled into this dark depression. Maybe had you not been born, they would have, you know, I don't know, something, they'd have done something else and tried some other, uh, sorry, I'm being, being nonspecific. Maybe they would have gone to a party one time, you know, had you not been there. So maybe, like, your mom and dad were getting into an argument, your dad wanted to go to a party, and your mom was like, you have to be home and help. And they go, oh, fine. So he stays there and he hates her for it. But had he gone to the party, his friend would have been like, have you ever tried cocaine? And then, Coca what? No, because he's very innocent, of course, because your parents would have you believe that at your age they were very innocent, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, they were not. But they might say, when I was your age. <laughs> they would say, with that look, the closed eyes, and they say, when I was your when age. When I was your age, I had you. Exactly. When I had, <laughs> exactly. When I was your age, you had me. That's what I'm trying to save you from. <laughs> trying to save you from having you. <laughs> And this is true, by the way. I mean, it, it, when, if you have parents who are particularly protective, I mean, really, if you think back to it, um, I'm just thinking right now, like, if, you know, if I ever had children, I was thinking about, my goodness, what that would look like with regards to what I would know about what they were up to, or at least fear about what they're up to. I, uh, I'm here because teaching us to take pictures for students. Yeah. Oh, that's okay with them. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. Um, where was I? Oh, that's right. Uh, cocaine. So, <laughs> so maybe he goes to the party, he tries cocaine, and then he, he completely spirals out of control, and, he, and, that, and that's just the, the tip of the iceberg. He gets into cocaine, heroin, which leads him to start to rob, steal, and a bunch of other things he'd rather not talk about because they're that dark. Maybe the truth is, is that you were there and you saved their life. It's possible. It's possible. Um, the little things, you know, the little things that change the you know, complete direction of our lives. We, we, we tend to think that the unlived life would have been so much better. Why? Because we don't have to prove it. We don't have to prove it. It's like, I can't wait until I'm like 80 years old. I'm going to be walking to the supermarket, and I'm going to bump you know, young people on purpose. And I'm going to tell them, what did you do? I kicked your ass 30 years ago. <laughs> Why? Because I don't have to prove it. <laughs> if, the, if the guy gets up and he beats my 80-year-old ass, then... I can always just say, oh, it's because I'm 80, <laughs> you know, but I can always talk about how badass I was 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Why? Because I don't have to prove it. I can just say it. Our parents can tell us, when I was your age, you were, you were a parent. No. When I was your age, uh, I respected my teachers. I did my homework. Politicians were honorable. Prices were reasonable. I used to walk to school <laughs> in the snow, <laughs> uphill, both ways. <laughs> it was uphill to school, and it was uphill home. How? Uh, the world, you know, the earth wasn't quite settled yet. It would shift a lot back then. So you'd have to walk, you know, uphill both ways. I walk 20 miles to my school. Exactly, walk 20 miles to school, you know. And we can imagine how, how, how hard things were back then versus the way that they are now. It's because we can view the past through these, through these rose-colored glasses. But moreover, we can start to imagine a future that our life would have been like. How many of us, I wonder, sit there and go, Man, had you not been born, I would have um, I'd have gone to a party and gotten hooked on cocaine and, I don't know, murdered the president or something. You know, it would have gone that far. None of us think of it that way. 
it's very rare. But the truth of the matter is that you don't know. You don't know. Like I tell the story that, um, so I went to UCLA. Um, UCLA uh, when I applied to universities, I applied to Harvard, Stanford, Columbia, Berkeley, UCLA, USC, and UC Riverside. Don't ask about the last one. <laughs> this, this is one of those things. Um, I was accepted to all of them. And I went to UCLA because I was in a band at the time. And the band was doing really well. And I started at UCLA, and the band broke up a month later. And so my dad was very big on, on me going to Harvard. He, he was a manager at McDonald's, and my mom was disabled, so we didn't have much, we didn't have anything really growing up. And my dad was always, th was always telling me, this is, like, this is the American dream. You're the son of a McDonald's employee, and you can go to Harvard. And I was like, I hear you, Dad, but the band's cooking. You know? The band's rocking right now, and so we're gonna, I'm going to stay with the band. And my, my mom was that one who was like, you're going to have to live with the consequences of your choice. You, know, you can go to, these, to these, some of these elite universities, and your life is going to be one very different way. And it wasn't a matter that your life was going to be better. Who knows if it would have been better? It was just your life is going to be very different. And my dad's whole thing was like, nah, you got to go to Harvard. You know? He actually got me a Harvard t-shirt. And it was just like, you know, no pressure. And um, I, when I went to UC, like I said, the band broke up a month later. My dad was, of course, just shaking his head. But I, I remember thinking at the time, like, I wonder how many parents would be proud if their kid went to UCLA. <laughs> my dad was like, yeah, but. You know, yeah, but. So now let's say that I'm, instead of going to UCLA, because if I went to Harvard, what would my life be like? Well, I would probably be president today, right? Yes, I would. I can imagine a, a, life, that how, 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 uh, a life that's so much different from mine. Um, I don't know. Let's say, <clears throat> let's say that I, I'm excited. I pack up my stuff. I'm moving to Harvard. I get on the plane. I fly over there. I land in, in, in Massachusetts. I'm like, this is an interesting place. I get in a, a, a taxi, and the taxi driver asks me, where are you going? I say, I'm going to Harvard. And he's driving and goes, Harvard, really? And just as he turns to tell me about how impressive that is, we blow through an intersection, a red light, a truck comes over, boom, hits us and kills me. That's a possibility also. Another possibility is that I go there, I don't graduate, and I end up hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt that I can never pay back because you know, I'm never going to get a job that's going to pay me enough to do all that. So there's a million other possibilities of how life could have gone. We can't get caught up on the life that could have been. We have to live the life that we presently are in. And we have to understand that whatever, however great we think our life would have been if we had made different decisions, that that only exists in one place, in your imagination. It doesn't exist in the real world. If you're living a life that's in this imaginary place, you're living a life in a place that doesn't really exist. And so, of course, you can make it as perfect as you want to be. You know, when, you know when, I, when I imagine what my life would have been like if I had gone to Harvard, you know what else? I would have been six, six, uh, six foot two. I'd have been taller also. I would have, uh, I would have drank more water. I did a lot of things in those dreams. But those are not the, that's not reality. You have to live the life that you're presently in. And there are two ways of looking at it. My life would be so much better if blank. Maybe. You know? But maybe make the, the blank something that you actually have control over. Not my life would have been better if I had gone to Harvard, or my life would have been better if I had taken this job, or my life would have been better if I hadn't you know, met, this other, met this one person, or whatever. Maybe my life would be better right now. The life I have right now would be better if I fill in the blank of the thing that you actually have control over and the thing that you can do. I drank more water, whatever. Um, sorted, out, um, sorted out my relationships with my parents, got on, got on the right page with them, um, made myself more responsible. Um, woke up early, early or whatever. Now I'm not saying earlier than 3.30, but whatever it is that you, in your own mind, you know that you should be doing. Not what I'm telling you that you should do. Not what somebody else is telling you you should do. But something that you actually know that you could do. And then that way you can make your life better in reality, rather than make your life worse. And what I mean by make your life worse is because you compare your life to the life that you believe could have been. Oh, if only I had done this, my life wouldn't be so bad right now. You don't know that. And that's the only thing that makes us think our life is bad right now is the, imaginary, is the imagination, which says my life would be better if this. So try to distinguish between imagination and vision. Imagination, you're making it up. Vision, what my present life could be like if I did, this, if I did certain things better.
incorrectly. And then it won't be so much an unlived life of the parents, but the lived life that you chose. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, critiques? 